Hello everyone. Uh, I got a few things I just want to talk about today. I know for one of the things I've been really meaning to uh, address is the current status of my Untitled Transformers Prime st stop animation project that I've been working on. And it is still going to happen. I've just been, have pretty much been doing constant rewrites of it because with it being a stop animation uh, I rely on toys as my characters and when it was in the early stages of writing you know it was pretty basic had a, just a few uh, groups few set of uh, characters but with current and it was going to be set inside a the Transformers aligned uh, continuity including Prime and uh, Warp and Fall of Cybertron <clears throat> characters. But ever since I pretty much had this, the script finalized, some other figures came out, which I thought would be, you know, a great addition to the story with interesting characters such as uh, Thundertron. I mean, Robotic Lion Pirate. I mean, that... The, as I have good ideas about making him a character in my movie. And of course, uh, Bruticus. Uh, and Unicron came out. Uh, the Ultra Magnus here. Ironhide and Rumble. Or Ironhide and Cup. Uh, and Rumble there. Just a few other. Those are like the main ones that uh, are out right now that I have that I know I need to uh, write into the script somehow but I mean I'm going to, to what I'm th what I'm thinking is that the, actually it's not going to be one big movie it's going to be episodic because <clears throat> what I'm planning is going to be is pretty uh, ambitious for a one big long movie so uh, it's going to have to be in certain parts because uh, either I'm, I'm probably going to, have to cut some stuff out because I'm just getting a ton of ideas, but I don't want it to be too clustered. So, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and there's a few other characters that are or toys of characters that are coming out that uh, I'm going to be. That, I, that I'm also getting some ideas of how to write them into my story if I want to include them in. And that is including uh, Predaking and his fellow uh, Predacons. Um, and the new Voyager Beast Hunters Voyager class Optimus Prime. Oh, and there's one other little... Uh, uh, not necessarily little by any means, but um, one other figure that is coming out next year that I've been really looking forward to that I would really like to have scripted into my project at some point uh... yeah that's something I've been trying to figure out too so I've been constantly doing rewrites um, <clears throat> And I have been casting people still, so I've been having a recast because some people I've lost contact with, or just got, I guess just lost interest in it. Um, and I actually got my first female cast member, and uh, I forget her actual name, but her YouTube name, uh, which I can't pull up right now. But yeah, did a good job there. So, um, look, still looking for some uh, good voices. Again, with the voices, the auditions, some of the auditions are just laughable, really. They're entertaining, though. I'm uh, drinking some homemade tea, iced tea, even though there's no ice in it iced tea with uh, lemonade kinda like a uh, Arizona, Arizona Arnold Palmer I didn't used to like iced tea until I had that 
Um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, not a whole lot, really. I do have some Avengers figures that I need to get around to reviewing. Oh, and, um, got some, finally got some new, uh, Movie Masters Dark Knight Rises figures coming in mail, courtesy of Mad Shell. 2021 I think is last the uh, numerics are in his name got a uh, Ra's al Ghul and Catwoman with the goggles up really looking for that so all, all I need is John Blake I have Jim Gordon um, I think there's also a variation of Bane without this jacket on which I have not seen Is there anything? I thought there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. By the way, still totally loving this guy. We focus in on him. Come on, come on. Greasy fingers. Yeah. Still totally loving this guy. Thunderdron is such a great character. Yeah, I had fun with his review too. Pretty fun making that. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that is basically about it. Uh, yeah. Just got some serious rewriting to do. Uh, uh, no one, not a whole lot of people have really made auditions as of late. I'm still accepting auditions, so you can post uh, your auditions to this video if you like. While I was at it, um, <clears throat> I decided to uh, film how I have my uh, Prime figures displayed since I moved. <clears throat> since I'm in the, no longer have my big luxurious, luxurious, uh, whatever you want to say, office, I'm a little bit more confined now. You see, I do have some some shit hung up. Editing. Watching Prime. Anyway, uh, I have my Prime Autobots on this shelf with the main five in the same, actually the same pose that's uh, in the opening title sequence for Prime itself. Uh, right here. And then I have kind of the uh, Loners, Wheeljack, and uh, Cliff Jumper right there. And I have Ultra Magnus, Cup, and Ironhide there, as I'm liking to dub the the new Wreckers. I have my Decepticons here. I actually have Megatron standing in one of the uh, little stands that came with the first editions, just to give him a little bit more height. Works out pretty well. Dreadwing, Breakdown, Knockout, Rumble, Viagons, I mean, just all those. Um, and up here, I got another first edition Optimus in the packaging. We've got another Ultra Magnus, another Bulkhead, another Megatron. You can't really see. In the box, I got some first or uh, fall Cybertron figures there with War for Cybertron there because they're not even not really in the prime line except for him, he's in the arms of Micron one. Uh, but they're part of the same aligned continuity, so they're related. I got some robots in disguise, some prids up here up front. Uh, except the uh, first edition RC, which I actually did replace that because I do like that one more, oddly enough. Cliff Jumper and Star Scream, which I still like. I just like the uh, first edition one better. So yeah, that's basically the setup right now. Um, I'd love to be able to show you the rest of the bedroom slash office, but um. It's an absolute mess, still mess, trying to still get things organized. 
from cleaning it. Oh my god, look at all that shit. Yeah. Okay, until next time. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, let's actually get one good little pan across all these. Bruticus. My lighting sucks, so it looks kind of crappy right now. I just had the one light going Unigron. Cup. A little rumble back there. See him? And Ultra Magnus. May not end up using this particular Ultra Magnus, may end up using the future um, weaponizer. Ultra Magnus, depending on how that is. Alright, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.